I believe this song is pronounced metalism, but I know that I've been dying to get back to baby metal. I loved baby metal from like the very first introduction. When I saw Gimme Chocolate, I was like, yes, these gals are dope. I am uh, very eager because I believe this is a newer one. So I'm going to see like grown up baby metal. Uh, I'm very eager to see kind of how time has evolved them and what they do as musicians. Um, I'm very eager for this one. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody that has followed along with me on the baby metal journey. Continue uh, to give me your suggestions on where I should travel next. There's a ton of videos. It does get a little intimidating to try to figure out which ones to watch next, if I'm just being honest um before i hit the play button it's very important to me that you guys know that you are awesome that you're valuable that you're important that you matter that you're deserving of love and that i'm abundantly grateful for even a moment of your time if you like what you see feel free to hit the like and the subscribe button it goes a long way to help me out if you really like what you see hang out with us on twitch i do these reactions live monday to friday at like uh, gmt minus seven 9 p.m <laughs> um so yeah guys uh without further ado let's check this thing out metalism by baby metal moves have definitely gotten better like you can definitely tell that they've like become stronger performers as they've aged it's like and it's definitely like techno baby metal this is definitely less rock oriented than what i'd heard before much more computer driven <laughs> The graphics for their stage, though, are amazing. Yeah, I feel like they all grew like eight inches and became much better dancers. This is amazing. drop the animal flow uh, a little dance in there because it fit. agree with you Mav. I definitely get the Middle Eastern kind of Arabic sound to it and I actually really think that uh, our lead singer here, I think her name is Sue, I think she's doing a fantastic job at kind of branching out of what I've normally heard her do. Um, this is probably my favorite of their songs that I've heard that, uh, cause the, the last one I heard, um, was also a bit more computery, but I, I like this one tremendously better. And I don't know if it's because it feels like they're doing it live, uh, even with like a professional video. And I'm sure that this is like the official audio for the, for the track, but this is just, uh, it's a fun performance and I definitely like the different take and like feeling like 
they're able to do more than just kind of that metal sound of what I'd heard from like Gimme Chocolate, you know? It, it, it's actually very encouraging to see that they have really good depth to what they do. I think the production value of that show alone would be one of the coolest uh, crowd experiences ever. I mean, when you watch their videos and you see all of the hype that goes into the production of their show, there's no way uh, you, you don't leave there being just mind blown. Like all of the stuff that they do from the light shows, the band that they have, uh, yeah, that was really, that really was like gnarly. Uh, and yeah, I'm a big fan. I think that was one of like, that might've been, I think, uh, Ijami, uh, Dami Zeta. I, I, I feel like I've really fucked that name up, but I think that's probably been my favorite so far, but this might be second. I really enjoyed this. And of course there's always the love for that first listen of gimme chocolate. Uh, guys, thank you for being here. Uh, I love you. Be the best until I see you next. And again, give me your baby metal suggestions in the comments because it is very difficult to choose where to go from here. I love you guys. Goodbye.